Hi, thanks for joining me today. We're going to focus on card number 18, the dog, and all of its combinations in the Lenormand fortune telling deck. Um, the Before I go through the combinations, we're going to have a close look at the dog card, get to know it very well, and then we'll move on. So as you can see, card uh, the dog card is number 18. The playing card insert is the 10 of hearts. Um, the book that I'm using for reference is The Art of Lenormand Reading by Alexandra Muzrik. This has been a really good tool for my for my learning of the cards, and uh, it's one that I go to frequently for reference. So in this book, um, the keywords for the dog listed are friendship and a partner. The author of the book writes a short description. He says, the dog indicates a loyal and trustworthy friend, someone you can count on in any circumstance. With the dog, you have an ally. You are protected. I sometimes see the dog as a protector or a guardian angel. The message of the dog card is that you are guided and protected. The person that will represent be represented with the dog card is um, a young man or another man in the reading, a third party that is not the querent. Just like uh, for, for a woman, uh, sometimes the snake or the stork are used for a third party woman. In this case, this is a third party man. The dog is used, <clears throat> can be used. Um, for the body part, uh, the dog represents the tongue, the nose, or the sinus. The tongue, the nose, or the sinus. The timing of the dog card is 18 days, or it could be the 18th of the month. So those are both easy to remember. 18 days or the 18th of the month. Influence of the dog card is positive. The nuance is a portrait. Um, the archangel. Archangels represented by the dog card are, I have not heard of this Archangel Raguel. I don't know how to pr pronounce that for sure. Um, it's R-A-G-U-E-L. Raguel. Or it could alternatively, it could be your personal guardian angel, whoever that is. The planet represented by the dog card is Uranus. Zodiac sign is Aquarius. If the dog card appears in a love reading for a single person, this indicates that you will meet a trustworthy and loyal partner. If the dog card appears in a reading for a person who is in a relationship, a love reading, um, it indicates that your love is protected and there's nothing to fear. If the dog card comes up in a health reading, it means your health is protected. In a money reading, it means money comes to you via friends and trusted business partners. In a work reading, this is collaborating with a friendly and loyal colleague. And then the special power of the dog card. The dog is a shield. It has the power to protect the querent from the influence of negative cards if it stands near him. <clears throat> so I guess we can consider the dog card a protector. That seems to be a main focus. Also a friend or a partner. All right, so we're ready to move on to the combinations. Here we go. I hope the sun coming in through my window is not distracting from the cards. I apologize if it is, but it is a beautiful sunny day today, so we all get to enjoy that together. All right, so the dog card in combination with the rider. This is news coming from a friend, or it's just a friendly visit. News coming from a friend, or a friendly visit. If you see the dog in combination with the clover, this is a lucky friendship. This is a friend who comes to the rescue. Or it could represent a talisman. This is a lucky friendship. A friend that comes to the rescue or it's a talisman. Not sure that I'll remember the talisman part. <clears throat> but the dog and the clover are both very positive cards. And so... Um, I would probably just consider it like a positive comment on a friend that's in your life, lucky friendship, or a friend that's helping you coming to the rescue. 
If you see the dog in combination with the ship card, this is, you could be traveling with a friend. This could be a trustworthy exchange. Um, or this could be, this, the ship could represent a vehicle, like a car, and the dog, uh, modifies that as a good or, or a trustworthy vehicle, something that you can rely on. Excuse me, I'm going to have a sip of my tea. <clears throat> the dog in combination with the house card. This is a family friend. It could be your pet. Or this could be considering a friend as family. So you have a good friend that's so good that you consider them family. And you know what? Sometimes your friends feel more like family than your family. At least that's true for me. So, yeah. So this is a family friend. This could be literally your pet that you have at home. Or this could be considering a good friend family. If the dog is combined with the tree, <clears throat> this is protected health. Or it could be a growing friendship. Protected health or a growing friendship. I'm going to move the cards down just a little bit out of that streak of sun. And hope, the hope is that they will be a little easier to read. Okay, there we go. That's a little better. All right, so if we have the dog in combination with the clouds, this is a friend who is unfaithful. Or this could be confusion in a friendship. Or this could be someone who's lying, a friend who is lying, being vague about something, not being clear. The clouds represent confusion, so... Or you, you might be doing a reading and it might come up and you might say, oh, well, it looks like you have a friend who might be confused about something. <clears throat> That's the way I would probably read it. But other, you could say unfaithful friend, confused friendship, confusing friendship. Maybe something's happening in the friendship that isn't making sense and it's causing some confusion. Um, <clears throat> or someone who's lying. The dog in com combination with the snake card. This is someone who's manipulative, a friend who is manipulating you. Um, or this could be a dangerous friendship. The snake is uh, a warning occasionally. So this could be a, a, a friendship that is has some kind of danger associated with it. Or it could be a betrayal. A friend who's betrayed you. Combining the dog with the grave or coffin. This is a friendship that's ending... It could literally um, be describing your pet, maybe a sick pet, or maybe a pet that is possibly on its last legs, having to make a decision, a tough decision. Um, this could just be a sick friend as well. So a sick pet, a sick friend, or a friendship that's ending, or a friendship that has ended. You so uh, combine the dog with the bouquet. This is this is good friends. It could be a gift or a surprise from a beloved friend. So someone, a friend of yours, is is coming up with a gift for you. So this is a. These are good friends. A good friend or a surprise or gift coming from a friend. Dog combined with the sickle or the scythe. This is the end of a friendship, same kind of idea as the coffin, cutting away a friendship. Or this could be a friend who's been in an accident, a friend who's gotten hurt. Sometimes the sickle represents some kind of procedure, health procedure that needs to happen. So this could be a friend who's undergoing some, some kind of surgery. <clears throat> Combining the dog card with the whip. This could be tensions among your friends. Maybe you're having an argument with your friend. This could be a friend who is abusive. Maybe a narcissist. Um, or this could be this could be a sexual um, read here where... Because the whip card can sometimes represent sex. And so this could be maybe a friend that you're attracted to. Sexually attracted to. 
So argument, abusive, or sexual attraction. The dog card combined with the owls and or birds is talking with friends, talking with a friend, or this could just be a friendly conversation. talking with a friend or friendly conversation. It could also be maybe gossip among your circle, circle of friends because the owls are communication verbally. Combining the dog card with the child. This is a brand new friendship. This could be a friend who is very young and naive. Um, or this could just be a childhood friendship. Somebody you were friends with in your childhood. So this is a new friend. This is a young or naive friend, or this could be a friend you had during childhood. Or the querent, I should say, not you. The dog combined with the fox card. This could be a false friend. This could be a friend who is not honest. Um, or this could mean working with friends. The, the fox card, remember, if you've seen any of my other videos, the fox card can represent alternate ways of making money, kind of at, thinking out of the box sort of type, types of jobs, jobs. Excuse me. So this could be the um, working with friends or a friend. It could also be or a friend who's not honest, a friend who doesn't have good intentions, or the fox doesn't have to be negative. The fox could represent being clever. So maybe this is a clever friend. And you know what? I noticed the sun is just moving. So I'm just going to do this just because it's more centered in the video. I think it looks better if it's centered. Okay, moving on. <clears throat> if you get the dog in combination with the bear, this is um, protection that is strong, strong protection. This could be a trustworthy boss. Remember, the bear card can represent work and um, your boss or manager or some type of situation like that. Um, this could this is a strong friendship, strong protection, strong friendship or a boss who is trustworthy. Excuse me, I'm going to have another sip. I feel a cough coming on. <coughs> I don't have COVID, by the way. I don't get sick. I occasionally have coughs. <clears throat> Not sick. Okay. Um, the dog in combination with the stars. This could represent spirit guides, maybe guardian angels. Um, or this could be a friend who is famous. The stars are recognition or fame, so this could be a famous friend. Or could be your spirit guides or your guardian angels. Or it could just be like a hopeful friend because the stars do represent hope as well. <clears throat> the dog in combination with the stork card. This is a trustworthy change. You could be moving in with a friend or a partner. So remember the stork is change or movement. So this could be moving in with a friend or partner, or maybe a roommate situation, or you can trust whatever change is, is, is on the horizon because the dog represents trust. Combining the dog with the tower card. This is a friend from the past. That's something for some reason, when the tower card comes up, I don't remember that it could represent the past. So oftentimes I just um, come up with other re uh, interpretations for my readings. I, I'm gonna try to remember that from now on, clock tower can represent the past. And in this deck, it is the clock tower. It's not always a clock tower. Sometimes it's just a tower. Um, but in this deck, it would be easier to remember that it can represent the past because of the clock on it, right? So this could be a friend from the past. This could be a, a friendship that is lifelong. Or this could be highly protected. So the dog is a card of protection, but the clock tower is also a, a card of protection. It can represent protection. So this is a very, like, this could represent a very protected, um, someone, the querent is highly protected, both with the dog and the clock tower. 
combining the dog with the garden. This is a group of friends. This could be a support group. This is a network or it's just a friendly event. So you've got your group of friends, could be a support group, networking, or just a friendly event. Some kind of gathering that's friendly. Dog with the mountain. This is a friendship that's been blocked. Maybe you decided to block someone on your phone because they were harassing you. So this could be a friend who's been blocked. Um, this could be an enemy, <clears throat> an enemy coming between friends. So some kind of blockage between friends. Dog with the crossroads. This is a change in the nature of your friendship. So your friendship is going through some kind of change. Maybe someone's moving and it's becoming a long distance friendship. Maybe somebody just started a relationship. Um, friends always, friendships always change when other people are introduced, right? So it could, it could indicate that. It could be that your friend became more busy. Maybe they got a promotion. So friendships changing for that reason, all kinds of reasons why friendships can change. So a change in the nature of your friendship. The dog with the mice. This is a friendship that is stressful, brings on anxiety. This could be a friend who has conditions, someone who is friendly, but there's conditions attached. So something that you need to be aware of with this particular friend. So stressful friendship or friend with conditions. Friend with, uh, excuse me, dog with the locket or heart. This is a lover. This could be that your best friend is your partner too, which is awesome. If that's the case. Hopefully that could be true for all of us, right? That we find somebody who is not only our soul partner, but also our dear, dear friend. So your best friend is your partner, or this could just could be feeling really loyal to somebody. It could, uh, the heart can represent your feelings. So just feeling loyal, feeling like you're protect, uh, a feeling of protection. <clears throat> or it's just a lover. Combining the dog with the ring card. This is loyal and committed. Or this could be a friend who's either engaged or getting engaged. Loyalty and commitment or a friend who is engaged or getting engaged. Or maybe you're getting engaged to your friend. The querent, whoever the querent is. Dog with the journal or book. This is a friendship that is being kept secret. A friendship that is not well known. Um, this could just be an um, an un yeah like an unknown friend. Maybe a secret admirer. Maybe the querent has a secret admirer. This could just represent a stranger. The book, uh, I think the, I mean, one of the primary keywords for book is secret. Information that isn't known. So unknown stranger, unknown friend, a stranger or a secret friendship. Combining the letter with the dog. This could be a message from your friend, maybe a text from your friend, or this is just friendly correspondence. Friendly communication or some kind of communication from a friend. Combining the dog with the man or woman. <clears throat> this is a friendly man or woman. This is a man or woman who, who is a protector. Maybe this could represent, for example, um, a guardian, like a parent or guardian. Um, or this can just be a companion. The dog with the man or woman is just someone who is a companion to you. Someone trustworthy, best friend, someone who's loyal. Dog with the lilies. This is an old friend. This could be a friend who is very, very patient. So loyal and trustworthy friend, um, an old friend or someone who is very patient. <clears throat> Uh, 
dog with the sun. This is a good friend, happy friendship, and it represents protection as well. So a good friend, happy friendship, and protection. Dog with the moon. This is a creative and gifted friend. The moon represents creativity, intuition. So friend who is creative, intuitive. Um, this could be a flirty friend. The moon can represent romance, I suppose, right? So flirty friend, or this could just be a romantic friendship. Maybe a friendship that is turning into romance. That would be the best way something, the best way that a romance starts, in my opinion. You're friends with somebody, you realize how great they are through your friendship. There's a little less uh, um, on the line when you're with friends, when you're, when you're friends with somebody versus in a relationship with somebody immediately. So you can like be friends with somebody and decide if you like them. And then it blossoms into something more. So created and gifted friend, it could be flirtation or it could be a romantic, romantic friendship. Combining the dog with the key car or <clears throat> with the key, excuse me. Um, this is a solution found by your friend, or this is a really important friendship, a key friendship, really important or a solution. Your friend came up with a solution or answer to a problem. Dog with the fish. This is somebody, a business partner, maybe a friendly business partner, or this is a trustworthy, worthy transaction. The fish is abundance, sometimes uh, represents money and finances. So this is a trustworthy transaction or a friendly business partner. Combining the dog card with the anchor. This is a long-term friendship, could be a lifelong friend. Um, it's a strong friendship or it's really, really strong protection. Long-term friendships, <clears throat> lifelong friend, strong friendship or strong protection. And then the dog with the cross. Uh, this is a friend facing difficulties. This is a friend who is experiencing some burdens and pain. This could be a friend who is grieving, maybe grieving a loss. Um, or this could represent a priest. The cross doesn't have to represent burdens and pain. It can represent spirituality. So this could be, the dog can represent, um, well, in most cases, priests are men, right? So it could represent a man who is um, spiritual or the head of a church. All right, there we go. All done with the dog. Uh, thank you for stopping by. I appreciate your company. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm enjoying making these again, and I hope you stop by again because I'm going to try to get through this deck, and now we're halfway through. So <clears throat> it's taken me over a year to get through 18 cards. It's not going to take me that long to get through the rest of the deck. I'm going to try to do these more regularly. So stay tuned for more. Thanks again. If you have any suggestions or comments for me, please leave them in the comments below. Thank you. Bye-bye.